this is an exciting time for citizens of the United Kingdom because they get a chance to really think deeply about politics and really deeply about how they want their government to run. In the United States, uh, we didn't opt for either proportional representation or a parliamentary form of government. Um, in the United States, government is structured in such a way that you literally can't do anything without compromise. We have so many different elected officials from so many different places around our country that um, nobody gets to do what they want. Anything that gets done is done by compromise. Now the challenge with that is, when it comes to election time, everybody can blame everybody else for the problems, and everybody can take credit for what's good, and it's not clear to the voter which is which. Having said that, um, there's something to be said for a system in which decisions can't be made quickly. There's something to be said for decisions that have to occur over a period of time that gives people time to think about it. And there's something to be said for a system that resolves a lot of the conflict before the election, so that when people get into office, you have there they can be about governing, even though there are going to be debates and compromises. Britain's looking at a system now where you're switching from first past the post, possibly to proportional representation. Proportional representation is brilliant at providing um, smaller parties with a voice. It's brilliant at helping people to, uh, identify parties that they more closely identify with. On the other side is the problem that um, it's very difficult to develop coalitions that can work together. And what we're seeing in Israel right now is that the world community is incensed at the Israelis for building settlements on the West Bank. Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition is composed of a party of one person who their party demands that settlements be built. If he pulls out, the entire government comes down. And so in one sense, Israeli politics right now is frozen. Um, they, can't get, they can't do what they need to do to please the United States and Europe. And they, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to get out of that problem. And the point is, is that that can happen in parli a parliamentary system in which you have coalition government that comes because of proportional representation. Right now in the UK, your, your major issues are debated and resolved before the election. When people get into office, they get to govern. They get to do what they want, and it becomes very clear who's, who's responsible. Um, party in power gets the praise, the party in power gets the blame. And it's very easy to pay attention to that. Um, proportional representation would provide a lot more diversity in terms of party representation, but it would also bring in this issue of coalition government, which can be just fracturing and uh, become frozen. The Netherlands has experienced this many times because the country is divided between three different points of view. So I think it's worth having a, a good, deep national debate about what kind of government system do you want. The grass always looks greener on the other side of the hill, and you never realize what you had until you lost it. So.